In the waning days of the western frontier, a new age began. Beneath the high plains of the Texas Panhandle lay the energy to grow a company and build a nation. An authentic American success story. The story of Atmos Energy. At the turn of the last century, the Storm Brothers came to Amarillo from Missouri to start a coal gas business. Soon they were wildcatting for oil with other panhandle pioneers on the ranch of R.B. Masterson. Once they realized what they had, one of the major gas fields in the United States, then they had to develop it and grow it, and they had to have money. And back in those days, the finances were very hard to obtain, even to run a pipeline. Remember, there were no pipelines there. So their obstacles were probably even greater than what we see today. The Amarillo Gas Company set out to turn natural gas into a viable source of power and prosperity. In 1924, they were combined with Amarillo Oil into Southwestern Development Company. Against the odds and against the elements of the Great Depression, progress was made. First 50 years, uh, they did a heck of a job uh, starting out in West Texas on a small scale of getting everything piped and customers using natural gas. As the Depression ended, bust turned to boom. America was back on track and World War II was fading into the past. Natural gas began to make its mark on communities across the country. The push was on to make natural gas America's fuel. Southwestern Development Company was reorganized. With a new name to match its spirit, Pioneer Natural Gas Company had bold new ideas. It's always been a dream as much as a vision to become a, a, a larger company uh, but, but to keep our small town values, if you will. Sometimes change can be the only constant in business. Pioneer evolved into a widely diversified corporation. Its West Texas utility, now known as Energas, was only one of 13 divisions, and the stage was set for a major move. In 83, they spun us off, and at the time, they called me and said, you're going to be chairman, president, and CEO, and I got two weeks' notice. And so uh, you can imagine uh, what was going through my mind. I was scared to death. I went around and visited with every employee, all 650 of them, and assured them that if they would stick with us as management group, that we'll sink or swim together, but we're going to make this company go. Already expanding through acquisitions, Energas chose a new name to match its bold direction. Atmos Energy Corporation. Companies with their own rich histories and territories joined this growing family, free to focus on success rather than just survival. New customers, new employees, and new friends took Atmos Energy to once unreachable heights as it stretched across the map. By the late 90s, the time would come for bigger steps. I've been with companies, they talk about growing, but this company has done it. Momentum would carry Atmos Energy through the turn of the millennium. The company was now ready to become an industry leader. To be able to integrate all those companies in and try to create one culture and have the largest pure natural gas company in the country, I mean, that is, I mean, that is a success story. A new decade dawns with new challenges, but with the same unwavering commitment to safety, providing excellent customer service, and preparing our employees to be the best they can possibly be. The Charles K. Vaughan Center, a 48,000 square foot facility completed in August 2010, combines a new service center, gas dispatch, state-of-the-art training facility, and a gas measurement flow lab. Gas City, a one-acre outdoor setting adjacent to the Vaughan Center, simulates a neighborhood complete with apartments, houses, city streets, and utility infrastructure. The Charles K. Vaughan Center stands as testament not only to Atmos Energy's dedication to safety and desire to have the best trained workforce in the industry, but to the vision of the man for whom the facility is named. Charlie Vaughan had this vision to grow this company, and I don't think probably he realized how 
dramatic this vision could turn, I mean, eventually turn into. Looking back over my 50 years with the company, it's just like a dream come true. Charlie Vaughn has been the person that has, in tough times, whether through words or deeds, has basically said to the organization uh, that we are going to stay the course. The future is yet to come. And so if you remember and celebrate what's happened and carry that forward, then the next hundred years is going to be better than the last hundred years. As history marches on, present quickly becomes past. Our story is a rich one. And it continues to be told by the dedicated men and women who serve their customers and communities today and tomorrow. Atmos Energy.